Welcome back. Doing turn four, part B, British turn. The frame was in, give us instructions. He spent a wee bit more time now looking at his options. I've left the red dice on to show that uh, that the teams had fired and they can be spotted by the advancing British. Okay, so morale, there is none. Chance observation tests. Now, the Churchill Stewart was fired up by these machine gunners with the MG42. When I think about it now, it probably wasn't a great idea to be shooting at them. So they are within 12 inches by the looks of it. Take it that they can be seen automatic. They were fired at, even though they're up atop of a wee ridge on the train line. Again, that is big bagage, high bagage. So they can see the enemy coming, so I'm sure the enemy can see where they're fired from. Yeah. It does say, yeah, if they're under 12 inches in soft cover, it's a 5.6. But if a reconnaissance unit would shut is they get a 4.56 to see them. But the fired. They're getting pummeled next. We need to be brutal. Right, so. Smoke shells. No. Could we use that artillery properly? Close the cells. No. Fire is declared in kite So it's going to be a quick round. Uh, oh, actually, what am I doing? I think some vehicles are moved. Shooting past that. Again. Alright, so. These dudes here. They're crawling. Three inches. Good thing about the cornfield, they cannot be seen. If they continue crawling. Mmm. Nope, that'd be stupid. Just gonna bulldoze her on in, but I've just realized that uh, I need my pack up. Get a faster move. Got over heads room. It's only light heads room. It's not like a bagage along this line. I believe men can't traverse it. That's why you see a lot of games that leave gaps in the hedge when they're playing. And we'd have to start doing that. Because they mounted up, they're only getting half speed. Did I get 
getting off the tank at this point. And it's just two dinners sitting up top. Okay, so heavy artillery down. We're going to have 25 pounders. Let's get a wee close up at this one I built recently. I'll do for the D Day campaign. Okay, so. Artillery are going to fire. I've already got the instructions, I've got them on video of I'm throwing the D 10 days. And we sit in this platoon vehicle and uh, the automatic gun. I know it's an SDK 222, but it's it's a 20 mil three man team gun at the minute. So heavy artillery, M2 targets, and the next one down. The motors 81 mil. He's going for. The radio operator in there. Rob's team. They have you can see straight in this city, but uh, the only thing that's fired is this grill. These men on the hill, these mortars. They can observe something that's fired. Visibility to a target is by eight say up to a range of 48 inches or 60 inches of a target fired from that position. The line of sight is blocked by buildings and built up barriers, woods, hills, static, armor fate vehicles, line of sight, they have three guns and vehicles behind, and then contact where hedgerows or walls is blocked. And it's if high enough to conceal the target, i.e., higher than the model on the table. Elements in contact with hedgerows or walls can see through or over them. Designated high spots such as high hills, church towers, taller buildings can allow players to observe over the obstacles, but these must be identified in grey before start. Anything within four inches of the far side of a wood, hills or buildings will still be hidden from the observer. Observation in the village or built up area is six inches. Elements deeper inside cannot be seen. Target can only be fired at if it can be seen by the element wishing to fire. Speculative firing is only allowed when firing smoke at a building. Okay, so T2 
taking them rules literally means that whew, it has definitely seen this group here because they're fired and he's uphill or in a building but this motor team in behind a wall grill line of sight do you know something? Maybe we'll actually have a patch out at that grill. I don't think it'll line the same camera. Hmm. Definitely could see a pop going off. Puff of smoke, so. Hmm, I wonder. So yeah, we're gonna have the 81 mil take a pot shot at the grill. So we've got the Churchill Steward firing 81 mil. Oh, the Churchill Steward is firing at these guys, the MG42. 80 mil at the grill. I think, yeah, it's open top. Uh, the artillery 25 pounders are on the SDK 222 and the armored vehicle. The neighbor rolled independently last night uh, with a D10 to see with a fail. Okay, uh, so I'll put red dice down on the ones that are being targeted because of a terrible habit of uh, not remembered. Dice are handy. Green for the allied fire and red for what they're gonna hit. I'll take that forward in the next videos. But for now, we have the artillery, which is opening up on these two boyos down here. Uh, first we have to see if radio check is due. Four, yep. Now, we've already uh, popped a video up above of me and a friend uh, doing the dice for this. But we got a hit on this and a hit on this. Well, not a hit. You can target it, the shells are going to come down at that area. But first, uh, we have to roll to see if we hit them. Radio message got through, roll the hit. My indirect fire artillery. That's indirect fire artillery. Both moved in their last turn, so they're moving. So they hit guns over 111. If the first round hit the second gun and the battery hits automatically. Now the first round misses, the second gun and the battery are. Second water requires 456. Hit a stationary target, 56 to hit a moving target. So we're again back to sixes to hit. Two shots. The yellow one is the command car, and the blue one is the SDK. Nope, one to five. Right, so the next one is. The motor. And he's targeting the grill. But first he has to get a radio check through. So a radio check. Six gets through. Wish that would have been the one I used for the hit and the target. <laughs> right, so two shots, three mil. Open top grill. Six is to hit because it moved into that position in the last turn. Actually, no, I 
moved into the turret in the upper section to turn the path that we were filming last, so it's stationary, so five sixes to hit. First round, four, second round, needs four, five, six, five, it's in. Whoa. So we're gonna hit on that. is an open top vehicle. Right, so casualties and damage. So guns and mortars five or six. Yep. Each of the scores needed to cause a single figure casualty or destroy an armored vehicle. So guns and mortars five or six because almost an 80 on mortar fire. Only a gun with a caliber of 80 mm more can destroy a fully enclosed armored fighting vehicle. That's not a fully enclosed, that grill is open. Grill has a peak, target class 5. So it's a soft target, big gun class with soft targets, so it's going to be thrown. The maximum D6 for this. So 150 mil, 5D6. No, hang on. That could be deemed hardcore. So we'll drop a D6, so it's 5D6. And to kill this, we need two casualties or more. You have to save the effect of the hit. Here we go. So three fives. Now, guns and mortars, effective D score six, five or six. So a three, fives. So, but it also says above that, to destroy an armored vehicle, you need sixes. This is an armored vehicle, but it's an open top vehicle. So, high explosive, exploding all around and above, is gonna injure the man inside. So, plus it's soft skin, it's make target class 5, and it's open top. So, it's got D hits. Now we need to find out what the D hits do. So we need, out of the D hits, we need two casualties to do any damage. And we get one six, a 3 and a 4. For an armoured vehicle, soft top, to do any damage, guns over 111, 4, 5, 6. It's an up. Oh, right, okay, so the mortar's 80 mil, so no, 5, 6. So we got one hit. We need two to destroy a soft top vehicle. So, no damage, just smoke all around. Churchill, Stuart. On these guys. Uh, obviously, we're going to use a heavy machine gun on the tank. Need to check if it has one. Stuart reconnaissance. It has a hull VMG. So, is it facing the enemy? Yep, it is. He's not stationary, he's moving. This is not really good. I believe he's moving anyway, this one. So, I'm going to try for a hit for so 1d6, range to target. You have to round up 9 inches. So medium range, target and soft cover 5 or 6. It's 5. So that's a hit. Yes. 
that's uh, the grill got peppered a bit. No damage. Lost a man on the hill. Ooh. Yeah, that's right, they both missed. That's such a waste of our time. Um, so we're on to turn five next, and it'll be the Germans' turn. Thanks for watching. Bye.